Hi guys, this is Nomadic Gamer, and this is Jurassic World. Um, yes, so the underdog event, I, I did win it off camera, naturally, and it was another T-Rex, I think. I think it was a legendary. Um, and now we're given more events and it's just crazy. <laughs> you know, and this is another thing that's a little bit overwhelming. Um, you have, you have the tournament, but alongside the tournament, you have other events. happening simultaneously um this is new kind of carnivores and then monsters of the deep um i love the fact that it seems like every day you're given something to do in this game and and i love that um then another card pack I I don't I don't mess with those. Right, so it's already I've already missed oh here. We have officially a level twenty megalodon. And so when they do that you can't really see their their evolved form until you look at them in here and I like it I think it's really cool that the the belly color goes up the side of its body like that it's really cool I mean I've already seen its evolved form and Megalodon evolved a Megalodon looks awesome So, let's see. Oh, there's so much to do. Like I said, I haven't done any of the tournament yet. I probably should do that now. <laughs> um, Monsters of the Deep, no restriction. Of course, I mean, we don't have that many. It shouldn't be that much. It should be easy to do. Carnivores. Oh, wow. A maxed out Monolophosaurus. That looks really cool. Hmm. I think I would do those two in like a single episode or maybe maybe just two different episodes because I really need to focus on the Troodon I, I pronounce it Troodon tournament um, I really want to give it an honest go and one thing I haven't really been seeing much is more hybrids and it's like i i want to see more hybrids let me just get collect from here i yeah I, okay um yeah may as well and get these two going Get them battle ready and evolved. Oops. Let me think. So I think I need two more now. Yep, I have a max, and so now I have a little twenty. Yeah, I'll evolve them. Get that on the road. Um. Another thing I really like 
about the you know having so many events is that with each win you you gain DNA instead of you know I remember the days grinding in the live arena for DNA absolutely pitiful so okay let's get down to it this is the throw it on tournament And with each one, they start off with level ones. Yeah, I'm kind of, kind of debating about whether or not to use level ones or just use um you know a little bit i don't know i'll just go with these and if i run into something i will probably use level 10s okay here we go hmm it's so awesome to be able to use our like level ones again. That's really great. Oh, and it is an all herbivore team. Okay. Okay, he can just continue to wail on him with. I will just use Chuojang as a meat shield and take the hits. It's okay. Uh, four to kill plus one. Oh dang. Okay, four. Oh, he goes all in. Wow. Dang. Oh, okay. <laughs> kind of, kind of aggressive there. <laughs> Two takes him out. Okay, four again. I don't think it matters what he does. Okay. And we are secured the win. Little baby level ones get to battle it out. That's so cute. Okay, <laughs> 30. And for the Hackling League. Oh, it's gonna take a few battles. Maybe at least. Two to get out of Hatching League. Okay. And with all these tournament events, there is a chance, a very, very super, super, it's virtually impossible, rare chance to get the, uh, the tournament creature in, in a pack on the wheel. I don't pay much attention to the wheel. And there it is. Nope. Mm. Well, ten bucks is okay. Right. And now they probably went up a few levels. 
So right now I'm probably going to use my level 10s. I think I did this once before and they were already in the rares. So I will probably use... And the level 1 Allosaurus, why not? Just to be on the safe side. And I was right. Hmm. See, they're already nearing level 10. Probably. And we do a swap. Oh, I have a feeling they're going to be very aggressive. Okay. I'm going to swap. Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to try to get my reserves up. Level uh -oh, 5. Oh, and he goes all in. This does not look good. Oh, I hate that. Four takes him out. Yeah, they are really aggressive. Really aggressive. Dang! Not enough. It doesn't matter. I under- I undercalculated it. And this is the beginning of my frustrations with these things. Oh, the tournaments are so brutal. They really, really are. Many a times I wanted to throw my phone out the window. Um, this was... This was during the, um... This was during the, uh, the Moses or tournament. Okay, it's a little bit better now. Build my reserves up a little. Okay. And I will do a swap. A block just in case. I probably could have went for it. Four. There's a swap. See, I also can't stand when they don't do anything, when they swap and don't do anything. Alright, so... Um, I'm gonna swap. I'm gonna go for three and one. Let's see. It's just, yeah. Yeah, they're they're very aggressive. Four is dead. Three in block. Dang. Really aggressive this tournament. Alright. And and the constant swapping, you know. 
and then they don't do anything, so it's like, what do they do? Last time they put it in reserves, but if I go for it this time, they probably put it into blocks, because that's just what they do. Mm -hmm. Let me swap. Oh, timer! Dang it! And swap again. Wow! Wow, this is really gonna need some heavy concentration. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Two hits dead, plus an extra two. And it's three. Yep, yep, my aggravation, I already feel it. I already feel it. Wow. Alright, two hits dead. Okay. Oh, doesn't do anything. Oh, well, I'm just gonna go all in. Yeah, they, they really are. It's <sighs> two losses in a row. It's, it's aggravating, it's aggravating. And, and it happens so often, so frequently. <laughs> oh, me. This is why I can't win these things. You know, it's almost like I just, you know, I just have to throw my maxed out rares just out there. There we go. Now maybe I can win this time. You know, I'm still in Hatchling League. What the heck? This is the second battle, guys. You know, you know, you know, I think in the end, in the end, it really is all about brute strength and how strong you are. You know, I think it's I think it's 80% um, or 90% brute strength and then 10% actual skill. Because in the end, you know, it's, it's a bit of a guessing game. Yeah, see? They're very aggressive. They're hard-hitting, aggressive. Um, so he blocked for three. I like the package of this horse. The model in this game. Alright, I'm just gonna go all in. And see, they're... They're... They put like a little bit in block and the rest in... Or, or maybe it's just... You know, the tournament was always this way and I just forgot about it. Man, they're so aggressive. Unmerciful, hard hitting. Okay, the wheel.
and we get 20 bucks back. Okay, do I do I need to use my maxed out um <laughs> my my maxed out uh Cuz I mean that was just brutal. It was absolutely brutal. But I want to at least get out of Hatchling Leak. Huh. Now it almost seems like it's kind of random. Either way. Okay. So. Try on a circus is. I'm just going to use them to get my reserves up. Okay, four. Okay, and he blocked for four. It's so random. Okay, three. Okay. Yeah, it's so random. And then he's got two, yeah, six. Now usually with this, he put four in reserve, so he should have two. Two block. Let's see if that's right. Yes, okay. Ah, oh, now we're kind of getting somewhere. <laughs> Dang. Eight. And usually with the four four, they have eight, they put four in reserve and four in block. If they don't flat up attack with it. Okay, the third win. Brings us to the top. So one more battle should do it. And 20 more bucks. Never bad, never bad. Bucks in DNA is, is the best to get out of these things. Okay, I have a level one turn. I don't know. <laughs> I need a, you know, I, because with the Tranodons, they they seem to have like really, really low health. I mean, I don't know. They always seem to die in like two hits. Let's go with that. Let's see what the odds are now. Okay, not bad. That's weird. Well, okay. Okay, nothing. I'm going to... I did. It's been so long since I've, I've done a tournament, since we've had a tournament. And... I used to be able to, you know, know what they were going to do, but and this is just so radically different. 
so radically different. Okay, so they have two block. I'm going to bring in Spino. I don't have a maxed out Spino, I don't think. Actually, one hit takes them out, plus the two. There we go. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Alright, all eight. Okay. You did what you were supposed to do, buddy. Yeah, and I like when, when they all kind of align together, like, my amphibian is going to take his out. And then the pterosaur is going to take my amphibian out, but then it will bring in my herbivore, which will take it out. I love when it works out like that, like, naturally. Because, I mean, that flip-flopping mess, it, it's a mess. Oh wow. Huh, well, I usually don't do that because I like to put it into blocks so it'll have to use more of its blows, but okay, I will take it. Awesome. And we are in Prey League at last. Let's see, how long? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're at 90. Oh, I hate the scrolling. Okay, 90. That's about an average, about 20, 30. So about four. About four battles. No! No! Dang it! Oh, oh, that guts me. It guts me. You elusive little bugger. Okay, um, I'm going to end this episode here. Um... Outside of the video, I will continue doing the event. Um, but I will record others, you know, concerning just the tournament. Um, because we still have a good 11 days to try for this. Ah. So, um, I... I wish everyone luck in the tournament. I really do. I mean, it's... It is a very grueling and difficult thing. Which requires... You know, half... Really... Oh, half really good dinosaurs and... Half... Constant commitment. So... Yeah, I wish everyone luck. And I hope that, you know, you know, people can get it and win it. Honestly. And I've yet to win a tournament. And I hope to win one one day. And I also hope that they, they bring some of these tournaments back around. So that people that, you know, join the game like 11 days from now. You know, can can get these tournament creatures as well. I mean, I mean, it wouldn't be nothing at all to 
bring in an older tournament alongside a new one or you know an older tournament just you know like just because I don't know but I mean <laughs> that's what I that's that's one thing I really love about this game is that they now have things you know things to do in it every day so if you enjoyed click that like button subscribe for more videos and i'll see you next time bye